Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill Beckett from Shake Here. We're going to give you a nice high press commentary for ADW Alpha Domain Wrestling here with my commentary partner, Braylon Summers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are here back here in Chicago, Illinois, and tonight is going to be insane. We have the second round of the championship tournament. Max Harleton and the AK-47 Havoc will collide. And our main event is the Canadian Crusader Joey Saran and the party starter Chaz Storm. I'm looking forward to this, Bill. It's going to be one hell of a night. And we're not going to forget as we see who gets further and goes to the final of this tournament. Yeah, Act On Instinct is going to be one hell of a show. We're not exactly sure the full card yet, but I am ready. Looks like opening the show, we're going to see this man, Adam Herring. Of course, former OWA superstar, a former tag team champion. And he tried to make a statement at the expense of Juro Lunar Spark in his debut. That didn't seem to end too well for him. No, he really didn't. He, he, got, knocked, he got knocked right out, actually. So now they're going to have an official match. And I'm interested to see how this goes. No, I mean, I remember this guy back when he first started. He was just kind of this, I mean, no disrespect, but uh, he was very much an out of shape rookie. And now look at what he has molded himself into. Uh, no, this, this guy. This guy I know can get done in the ring when he puts his mind to it, but tonight he got one hell of an opponent to try to make a statement off of. Oh yeah, I mean, Adam Herring, he's been in this business for a couple of years, but nothing compares to his opponent who has been doing this for a long time. And here we go. The knockout artist. Of the combat pro himself. Juro Lunas Bark. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a man who has definitely earned his place. Talk about a man who has done a lot and seen a lot. Not really got much recognition, though, honestly. Not nearly as much as he probably deserves. Uh, the knockout artist himself, man, this guy has fought some of the toughest competitors. And not only wrestling, but also in Japan. Yeah, where they are designed to hit hard. Exactly, I mean, this, this, this guy one of the greatest assets to Alpha Domain we have right now. Oh yeah. And it's going to be exciting to see how far he goes in this company. But right now he has that man right there, Adam Herring, to take care of. And oh, look at this, talking trash. You saw how well that went last time. Oh God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> he, he's eating these punches right now. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. Super kick. Telling him Took what? Him down. Oh, getting right back up though. Oh, jeez. Oh. That was a nice take down there by Jero. Oh, here we go. Laying down the leg, dropping the elbow. And following oh, up. the full. Oh, yeah. Vintage Jero Lunar Spark. Oh, now following up these open hand strikes. Signature Jero Lunar Spark. And now what we're going to see here. Oh. Oh, oh nice wait a minute. Wait a second. Oh, oh, caught him with the clothesline. Oh, Herring rolling out, though. Oh, wait. The, oh, oh, my God. Zero with the launching forearm from the ring to the outside. Now going to take this right back in the ring. Does not want this to stay outside any longer than it needs to. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh Herring ambushing him, him halfway through. Wait, oh, my God. Oh, my oh, God. Geez. Hanging him up there and dropping him right on his head. My God. That's going to get him back into oh. the matchup here. A big headbutt. Oh and what's this? What you got in mind here? Oh, my God. Another big DDT coming up. Oh. 
dropping him right on his head again, right after the headbutt, but only a one count. Oh, oh God. God. They're kicking him Big right in the dude. head. Oh, and now that knee brace right to the back. And again. Jeez. Adam Herring, a very methodical performer, definitely changed from what he used to be. Oh, God. Throwing the punches right now, and then just gonna build toss him. Oh, God. Just like throwing him all the way across the ring. And now just soaking it in. The crowd is not a fan of this man. And oh, drop kick to the back. Adam oh, Herring has that. totally gotten control over this. And look at this. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait a second. Caught him with the Northern Lights. Two. Oh, well, no. Now we're going to two count. No, not quite. And now Jero looking to get a little bit of momentum back here. Again with these open hand strikes. He slaps. And now the back elbows. Oh, that last one. Oh, what are we going to see here? Joe calling him up. Look here, we have in mind the only oh. thing calm by the foot. Oh! oh ho, ho, ho. With that spinning heel kick. Oh, and Herring again rolling yep. out. Getting out of harm's way right now. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, hot shot there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Pop up. Oh, pop up. Atom oh. bomb. Oh Caught him with God. the pop up atom bomb. Oh. What? 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 Oh, my God. Nobody wow. has ever kicked out of that before. Well, low now. What was it? One? That was one. I've never even seen anyone kick out of that. That is. Oh, my God. On your he, so he is He is pissed off. This so the tough of the Joe left right here. But Harry's not going to let him oh, wait. breathe right now. But oh, jawbreaker. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and oh, here we go. Huge slugger there. And now, clotheslines from Joe. And another. Now Harry backing yep. into the corner. And, oh, oh. double knees to the chest. And now going up to the second rope. And that's big flying senton. Oh, what are we going to see here? Calling for him to get up again. Kick to the gut. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. This is a signature oh. move. Oh, Drill my God. Holding bomb. him up. Adam's not the only one who can throw a mean power bomb, apparently. And now, and now here oh, we go. He's cranking Knock the fist. Knockout punch. And there boom! It and it's good. Ball game. One, two, and it's over. Impressive debut win for Jero Lunar Spark. This is a man who the guys in the back are gonna have to keep an eye out for. A dangerous man, obviously. Without a doubt. Then that Adam bomb just slamming him down as hard as possible but only a one count like adam gave him his best and he just wasn't enough no he wasn't it was not enough at all and jiro lunar spark picking up his first win here in the alpha domain ladies and gentlemen that is not even close to all we have we have so much more to give in due time, we still have the remainder of the second round of the tournament. But right now, we're getting ready to cut away to a quick commercial break from, well, some of our other allied companies. See you back in a few.
All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It looks like we're going to get Nathan Roberts, sounds like. That music all too familiar. And there he is. Man put on what ended up being voted as match of the night by our fans against Havoc on episode one. Came up a little short. But despite that, the match isn't exactly what people are talking about now. It's what happened after. Yeah. This guy in, in a mask and a hood and all this just comes out while Nathan's recovering in the ring and just lays him out. I don't understand. I don't know what the deal is. Apparently, I doubt Nathan knows either. And I guarantee you he's probably looking for some answers. And yeah, he's calling for a mic. So let's see what's going on. I guess some people are going to expect me to come out here. You talk about how I lost about how I got going to say one right. But to those people, I'm sorry to say, but you're wrong. Unlike well, some often admit when I've been beaten. When I've been outsmarted. But, either way, my loss episode one was nothing compared to what happened afterwards. I was laying in the ring, still trying to collect myself after having my bout run. And what happens? Well, let me show you. Yeah, you're going to see right here the replay from last week, or the last episode. Nathan in the ring trying to collect himself and then just... Bam! Gets laid out by this guy, and then this just winding up this big discus punch. The laid him out. Yeah. Now I don't know who the hell that was or why the hell he chose to attack me when I was weakened to have the match of the freaking night. But I want answers and all of them now. So whoever you are, if you've got any sense of spineless body of yours, you'll come out here and face me like a man. And if you're lucky, you would have to be from a hospital bill. I make no promises to get out here and face me like a man. Nathan calling out whoever it was. Will he come out though? Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Wait. Wait. Doesn't that s Wait a minute. Doesn't that sound familiar? Oh what? my god. Are you kidding uh. me? Uh, That's Kilwa. This guy. Oh, God. I can't stand this guy. Nathan, tell him to come on down. Oh, wait a minute. What the what hell? What the hell? Who was that? I have no idea. What in the world what is the... going on here? Kilwa come out on the stage distracting Nathan Roberts and this guy. Oh, God! What in the hell? Who was the... Wait a minute, there's someone over there on the apron! I can't even... I... Wait, what the... What the... Who the hell is that? What's going... What is going on here? What type of... Wait a minute. I don't understand what this is. This guy in the gas mask... Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh jeez! What in Jesus! The what the hell? What the what? Oh now there's Kilwa! Oh hell no what? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh jeez! Are you are you kidding me right now? What is this? What is going on here? Oh my. Oh this my is a, god. What? This is an assault. This is just straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Oh my. Un, unneeded assault right here. And, oh. There it is again. That big discus punch. What is this? What does this mean? What? I, I, I'm lost for words. Who are those two? What is Kilwa doing here? And what is his business with Nathan Roberts? Uh, 
I don't know. I'm disgusted. I am disgusted by this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, while we try to collect ourselves from that, we have an announcement regarding our first ever CPV event, Act on Instinct. Ladies and gentlemen, at this pay-per-view, we will see the debut of our official cruiserweight division. And there's that title. It will be a triple threat match, and we're going to learn who the first of those three men are. Right here, right now. Let's see who it is. And it is Antoine Rose. This man is a disciple of Donny Octave, trained by the man himself. Antoine Rose is a very dangerous performer. Very He's already my least favorite. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can understand why you would say that. But Antoine Rose is a very dangerous competitor in his own right, learned from a dangerous man in of itself. And on the next episode, we will learn who number two is. Are you excited to get cruiserweight action here in ADW? Of course. There's nothing like cruiserweight action. Nothing like it. And speaking of cruiserweights, we have one of the men who will be featured in our cruiserweight division when it officially gets started up, Omid Ansari. This man comes all the way from India. I don't really know much about him, honestly. Other than, I mean, we have got a very unique look. It's an interesting t-shirt also. Nut up or shut up? I don't know. Well, actually, yeah, I do know exactly who his opponent is. We'll see if he can make that man. Oh, boy. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> This is a guy who I've seen a lot from, and we we heard from him on episode one, and he laid out a message. Sean Mercer. Look at this man. Just look at him. One word that comes to mind when you see this man is danger. This is a very dangerous, a very lethal competitor. He cares for nobody. What are your thoughts on this man? You know, I've yet to see any any of the in-ring work, but you know, I've, I've heard what he's had to say, man. He he definitely knows what he's doing when he gets on that mic. He knows what he's doing when he gets in that ring. You know, in this business, you don't have that many friends. No, and Sean Mercer is definitely someone who lacks friends. For one reason or another. It's nobody trusts him, and he doesn't trust anybody. That's how it has to be sometimes. And I don't think this guy has any problem being alone. No, this man is a total lone wolf. Works under his own watch does what he wants, when he wants, and nobody can tell him otherwise. And I tell you, I get chills just looking at him. You just, you can look in a man's eyes and tell when he feels no empathy. And this is a very apathetic man. And we're gonna see exactly what Sean Mercer and Omid Ansari are capable of here tonight. Here we go. Let me show the crowd some love here. Now Mercer going going to the back. Takes him down. Oh. And tosses him off. Oh. The power advantage. Oh my oh god. Oh god. Catching him with that enziguri. Early on hitting the big strikes here. 
I'm gonna whip him off the ropes here and oh Big power slam there by snapping Sean it Mercer. Just snapping that power slam this has been all Sean Mercer so far now what's this oh hangs him up oh, on the ropes. god that probably doesn't feel good at all oh not at all the, those are hard hitting oh my god oh god catch him right in the nose speaking of hard hitting that penalty kick for Mercer and, and big drop oh. kick man to the side now what's this just oh yeah, another oh, one. god and now wait a minute he's going up to the top Oh, we call him for him to get up here. And oh my oh, god, what the geez. hell? Coming Was off the top with those knees. Jesus Christ. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh my. Variation. Oh, look at that. Look at him. He's got that cranked in. Arm trap, cross face. He got no other choice but the tap. Oh. And he jumped in. My God, what domination! Sean Mercer making quick work. Very quick work. Look at this. The only highlight of this match, the end. This arm trap cross face maneuver. I'm not sure what he calls it, but it is deadly. Had to send the ring. There was no way of getting out of that. No. Just exactly right in the center of the ring. And what a debut for Sean Mercer. This man is going to have one hell of a future in this company. Without a doubt. And I kind of feel sorry for the guys who have to face this man in the future. Honestly. This guy got a future here, without a doubt. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go take another quick commercial break. And we'll see you back here shortly. We are back again here, ladies and gentlemen. And, Bill, you know very well who this man is. Indeed I do. This is a man who also has a little bit of controversy surrounding him, although not by his hand. Max Bell. Looks like he's dressed to compete. So we're going to see him in one-on-one -on -one action. But on episode one, he was costed his shot in the tournament by Donnie Octave, a man who we both know has a lot of history with Max Indeed. Bell. Oh, wait, what Speaking the hell? The devil, oh my god, wait a second. Oh my god! Donnie Octave! What the hell? Oh. Attacking Max Bell! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh Jesus. lord! Hit him with that knee and then the swan song lariat. Wait a minute, Donnie running to the ring now. And he's got, oh, he's got a microphone. We both know what this means. Gonna listen to the man talk. <laughs> hey, Max. While you're laying up there on the stage trying to uh, piece yourself back together after getting the ever-loving snot kicked out of you, I think I want to tell a little bit of a story because some of these halfwits in the audience might not understand what's going on. It all started November 30th, 2016. Max, you decided 
You wanted to show your face in another wrestling ring again. You decided that after all the time that you had been gone, it was time to dip your feet back in the pool known as the wrestling industry. And you came out, you got an excellent reaction. It probably warmed your heart when you came out there and you got the response that you did. And you know, you rambled on for a few minutes, did what you, did, did, did what, what the people who normally come back to steal the spotlight normally do, and just soak it all in. You soaked it in, Max. And then what happened? You asked a very simple question. Who is first in line to face Max Bell? Max, on that date, November 30th, 2016, I was pretty sure that I answered your question. When I came out, and I put you flat on your back. Apparently I wasn't the one you wanted. I wasn't the one you wanted to see. And what happened next? I only saw you one more time after that. The last time I saw you before that was when I was going to put that pitiful waste of space Chris Ventura out for good. And you stopped me. Then after that, I never saw you again, Max. You went off the map. And turns out I wasn't who you wanted to be first in line. And, well, I suppose the only... <laughs> oh, man. And then what happens, what happens next is just so amazing. Alpha Domain Wrestling is born, and a tournament is put in place. Now, Adam Lazar made a great call by putting me in the tournament, but where he messed up, putting someone who didn't deserve it in the tournament. That person is you, Max Bell. Do you honestly think you deserve to be put in this tournament? When is the last time until last week that you even did anything? You have done nothing and you don't deserve that shot. And I'm not gonna lie, when I heard about you signing and when I heard that you were gonna be in the tournament, it screwed with me a little bit. It messed with my head. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might as well be honest. That might very well be why I lost the Chaz store. But you see, I couldn't just sit back and let you move on. So, what did I do? I took some drastic measures and I made sure that I wasn't the only one moving back. I made sure you would be going with me. Max, now we're coming back around full circle. Because now we're both out of the tournament. None of us really have anything going for us. The only thing the only thing I actually really see in your future is a hospital bed. Maybe even a funeral. Max, I don't know if you realize this, but we have a little event coming up called Act on Instinct. And on that night, well, Max, Max, I want you. You didn't give me my opportunity to put all the other down. But I want my chance, and I'm gonna take it. So Max, I'll give you until next week to come up with an answer for me. And if I don't get my answer, I'm gonna beat the answer out of you. Cause Max, there is only one answer to the question, and that answer is I accept.
If you deny me again, if you deny me the chance to put you back on your couch in Detroit, well, there'll be one less life on this planet to breathe air. I'll be waiting, Max. But don't give me waiting too long. This man has totally snapped. Oh, oh. What in the world? I, I wish I had a little bit more time to comment on this, but we're getting ready to hear from a new signee known as the Snake Casey Walker. My whole life, I've been called a kid. I've been called a wimp. I've been called nothing. Worthless. Unusable. My entire life, I've been called nothing but a waste of space. Not just by my peers, but by some of my family. I have been talked down like I'm nothing. And now it's just something that I'm used to. Something that is just a skip of the rock across the lake. Something that just happens on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm used to being talked down. And when you get used to something like that, it changes you. It changes you, and it changes you hard. Ever since I've been growing up in Columbia, South Carolina, I have found something within myself to prove these guys wrong. Even though I know nothing will ever change what these guys think about me or what they say, I can prove to the people that are willing for change and the people that actually care about what I do, I can prove to them that I can start from the bottom, but I can make my way to the top. I've been to the bottom of the very bottom. I've had to live in my own car for weeks, for weeks, months maybe, just to be good in this business. I've had to beg on the streets for money just so I could pay for a wrestling school. Why wrestling? Because it's something that I could do. I remember when I was younger watching Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, duke it out. And I wanted to do that ever since I was young. Ever since I was maybe six years old, I've been wanting to do this. So, whenever I couldn't support myself because of how much I wanted to do it, I couldn't pay the rent because of the rough beginnings I was on, I had to make amends with my own self. I had to live on the streets with nothing. I lived on the streets, guys. I was begging for money just to go to a wrestling school, and that could be expensive. So whenever I got enough money, you bet your ass that I went into the next nearest wrestling school I could find and I worked my ass off day and night just so I can be better than everybody else. Well, I am humble and I respect everyone else's wishes and aspirations. There's nothing that's gonna stop me from doing what I wanna do. And ever since I've gotten that training that I deserve and that I need, <laughs> I've done nothing but escalate. In ITW, I'm the longest reigning ITW champion. In RPW, I'm the first ever RPW World Heavyweight Champion. Two-time RPW World Heavyweight Champion. In ICW, I'm the only man to beat Jack Neal, who you guys don't know. I have hyperextended my right knee that put me out for a good month or two. But guess what? I still came back and I still fought because I am not going to be put down any more than I have already have. I've been talked down and I've been discriminated and I've been hated against for everything that I do wrong and I'm not going to take it anymore. ADW is my last hope. And <laughs> knowing that, you can bet your ass I'm going to make a difference and you can bet your ass that this it's going to be my yard whenever I get it. This is going to be my place, and I'm going to turn this entire company upside down, no matter what anyone says or what anyone tells me. This is going to be war. You can call me a kid, but guess what? This snake is let loose, and he's wild in the jungle. And that's where he performs best. 
in the jungle. Well, we just heard from Casey Walker, who will be debuting on episode three. But right now we've got, I guess, a local competitor. It says Vincent James from the local area here in Chicago, hometown boy. And I actually have no idea who his opponent is. Do you? Uh, not my notes. Not to my knowledge. What the... All right, who didn't pay the luxury bill? I've heard this music. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh wait, what is what is going on here? The lights are like really dark. This music. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the size of that man. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw the nameplate. This man is Hunter Woods, the Destroyer. And he's got that name for a reason. This man, his entire career has been undefeated. His matches usually tend to end within like, not even five minutes. And again, look at the size. The sheer size of this man. Kid, if I were you, I would get out of that ring and I would run. Like, get out of here. Go. Get as far away from here as you can. You will be devoured by this man. This, this monster. It's seriously. My God. He towers over the man. You just, you... I was just about to say to myself, like, oh seriously, my look at that. Oh, my God. Uh, this is going to be uncomfortable to watch. I, Damn, oh I got a timer. Goodness. Oh, my God. Look at the size of Hunter Woods. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Watch it kick. Why'd you kick? Oh my god. Rip. Oh! That's. And that, that's there it. you have it. One, one choke slam. That, that's it. That's all it took. A choke slam. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, no. Can we get somebody out here, please? Uh, do you really want somebody to try to stop this man? Good point. Um, Can somebody call this man's family? Th this, this kid, th 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 this, this, this kid's about to, to, to be just, oh my God. Oh my God. What? Oh no. This is... You proved your point, Hunter. Come on. Leave the kid alone. Oh, my God. I make a, oh, <laughs> my God. We're trying to make a statement here. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what? my God. He's crushing his head. He's crushing his oh, head. What the hell? What? What the? Oh. I never. Oh, my God. Can, 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 can we cut this? Can we, can we cut out of here? Come on. This is not... He could have just killed him. The size of this man. Look at that. Look Look at the size of his hands. Wrapped, crushing his skull. Can we get doctors or something out here? Yeah, we're going to get EMG for this guy. Okay. I mean, this... I mean, th this is serious. Let, can, can, can we cut to commercial?
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. After that, oh my. Okay, let let let's let's try not talk about that. We got one of the two second round matches to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Max Harleton out here defeated the quote Antichrist of ADW, Elijah Rose, on the last episode, and he's got one hell of a challenge here tonight. Of course, I'm fighting the AK-47 himself. Yeah. Like I said, something like an interesting fact to point out in our match of the night polls, Max Harleton versus Elijah Rose came in second, followed. Like they followed Nathan Roberts versus Havoc in the match of the night poll. So this is going to be this this has the potential to be one hell of a match right here. Without a doubt, can steal the show right here, right now. Yeah, Max Halton, of course, a man who has spent the longest time trying to find himself, find his groove, find his place. And he has his chances right here in this tournament to do so. But his opponent is not going to take that laying down. And there he is. This is a man who has dominated and laid waste to people for the better part of a year plus. Havoc is without a doubt an odds on favorite to win this whole thing. From people I've talked to backstage who aren't involved in the tournament people on the streets they have they have pulled this guy in to win this whole thing and I mean I can't really blame them this man has looked nothing but impressive ever since appearing on the scene back in back in 2016 appearing of course for OWA and then dominating there Holding the championship that he held back in that company right now. He's carrying that thing around with him everywhere he goes. And here we go. Oh, man. Max, of course, not afraid to still talk a little bit of smack. These two just staring off here. Oh, and here we go. They're locking up now. And Max got him with that rear waist lock, taking him down into the side headlock, and now Havoc bringing him back up. Nice side headlock here. Oh, this is going to be a tough match to call right here. Who do you who who, who do you think is going to pull it out here? My mind personally on Max, but you know you never know at this, at this point anything can happen. Right now they're at a bit of a stalemate here, going back and forth between technical holds here. Side headlock did by Max. Yeah. Oh, Havoc going to push him off the ropes here. Duck down. Leapfrog. Leapfrog. And, oh, catch him with a drop kick. Oh, God. Big oh. jab there from Havoc. And a kick to the gut. And now taking him off the ropes again. Ducking down again. Another leapfrog. And, oh, to bump across each other. And now Max. Oh! That's come that Japanese arm drag. Oh, and another one. Continue to get caught into oh, this. Oh, turning his back. Oh, wait Not a minute. A smart move there. Look at this. Oh! Okada roll bridge. Two. No. That would have been one hell of an upset right there. Wait a minute. Max going up to the second rope. Oh! Come with a big. Flying forearm now going right back into the pin. One. Two, oh, only a no. one count. And now. Oh. Another forearm. And now a throat chop. 
and a ch regular chop, and now another throat chop. Chop combos here. God. The kicks. Oh my god. And now what's this? Bouncing off the ropes. Oh wait a minute. Sunset. Oh my god. Going to another pin here too. No, again. Max is just one step ahead in this match. I'm now going up top high risk. Max is, I would assume, the quicker of the two. And now, f oh Ooh. God! You, you were saying? Oh wait a minute! Oh wait a minute! Havoc taking a minute to gloat. Not a good idea. Max is up. Uh, and oh. oh, caught him with the forearm. Max Harleton seems to be one step ahead of Havoc here. And now taking this back inside. And now going going back up again. I don't think he realizes Havoc is up though. Oh my god, wait. And oh stop him right there. And now what's this? Oh, he's gonna join him up top. Oh, what do you have in mind here? Up for a superplex me. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Wait, rolling what? through. What? Rolling through with the oh falcon arrow. Oh, my God. Arrow. Hooking the leg. One, two, no. What a combination from Havoc. I'll say. And now what's this? Got him up on the shoulders. And oh, oh, detonation oh. kick. Just caught him hard with that kick. And now the knees. Knees right to the head of Max. Looking to do whatever he can, maybe knock him out. Weaken that head up for that chaotic spike combination. Now up on the second rope. Oh, wait a minute. Phoenix oh, my flash. God. And what's he? Oh. You know what? Instead of going, you know, taunting, I should have went for the pin there, in my opinion, but. Yeah, same. I mean, Havoc is just taking Max lightly. He's taking him so lightly in this match. And that's that's that is a fatal mistake you can that is the most fatal mistake you can make, but Havoc throwing Max now to the outside. Wait a minute. Oh, he's got some dastardly plans. Oh! Both through there. Through the ropes. You can say which one about Havoc. He may be a little cocky, but he is impressive. <clears throat> Now, Havoc has completely cemented control over this. And now just going to throw him around. Throw him into the announce table here. And now throwing him into the apron. And now throwing him into the barricade. He's just throwing him around like nothing. And now oh, into the oh ring post. God. Hear that? Done. And now I got to Oh, wait a minute. Is he going to try and win this by count out? Oh, look at this. We're, the arrogance we're of this. Man. Count. Seven at the moment. Eight. Oh, wait a minute. Referee pulling him back. Oh, now Max getting back in. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh. I think that might. Oh, God, what a powerful, powerful float over DDT. Oh, what? wait a minute. He's... What? Oh, Max sees his... Oh, Havoc turned around and just saw his fate in the face. And Max is all fired up now. He saw his own blood. Sort of block. And here we go. Oh, hey. And back elbow. And now this punching combination... Little shake, rattle, Get too sweet, and for bang. rolling, oh my god. Oh man. Go on. And now, Max going up to the top, Havoc starting to stir. Oh, Max telling me to get up. Calling for it. And, oh! oh my god. Just dropping him with that... Seated senton like maneuver. I'm not quite sure what, but it was effective. And now, Max gonna take Havoc into the corner. 
Oh, bounces him off. Pushing him into the corner. And a rebound, German. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen him set up. He could be setting up for that stunner he's been doing lately. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, he's havoc. punching the kidney. That's a... Spinning back. Wait a minute. Oh, oh stunner. Oh. Oh, my God. Stunner. Could this do it? Could he go in the big upset? Oh, wow. my God. Wow. What an upset. Max Harleton defeating Havoc in a second. Whoa. That was a surprise. That, that stunner literally came out of nowhere. No kidding. Oh, my. That was something else right there. Oh my god, what a match that was. We said earlier, this could very well steal the show. We got one more match to go. But it definitely stole the show, and there's that stunner again. And Max Harleton will be moving on to the main event of Act on Instinct, just like that. This has got to be a real. This is. This has to feel so good for this young man. He has. He has fought so hard to get to a moment like this, and he's. He's going to be fighting for the world championship. The very first one. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get the cam. Wait. 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 Get the camera back on here. Wait. That's Hunter oh, Woods. Oh, oh, what the hell? He's back out. He's attacking Havoc. You know, part of me wants to be upset about this, but I'm not. What? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh my shit. God. The Woods Bomb! Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hunter Woods just coming out here. I think he came in from the crowd. Oh, uh, my god. oh time to move. Alright, well. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Hunter Woods tearing apart our table here. Oh my god. Hunter Woods has some bad ideas. He has bad intentions here for Havoc. Oh Looking like you're trying to make a statement once again. Oh in the expense god. of the oh hybrid god, get champion. Out the way. Get, out. God, get out of the way. Get out of the uh, way. Move, move, move. Oh my Jesus god. Jesus Christ. Spine buster through the announcer's table. Oh my god. Jeez! This table exploded. Oh my god. Oh god, he's not done. He's not How, done. What? He's just dragging his lifeless body. I'm sorry, but what more can you do to this man? Oh my god. No. Oh no. I think we're about oh, to find god. out. Oh god. I think we're about to find out. You, oh no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Took it through the barricade! You freaking picked him up! Like a child! And rammed him through the barricade. I just, oh he, my he's god! Dead. He, 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 yeah, he. Does, he yeah, he's, oh my he's god! We'll, we'll 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 be back with the main event. Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. And this is the man who defeated Max Bell with help from Donnie Octave on the last episode. I don't think that was planned, but it's Joey Saran. He will take whatever he can get. In my opinion, he was lucky to be still in this tournament, but you know, they say things happen for a yeah, reason. Yeah, because Max Bell had Vic Max Bell had the victory right there, and then Donnie Octave came out, and then that big package pile driver. From Saran. Yeah, you know, I, I, mean, I still, I still feel he shouldn't be in this tournament after, after you know what we saw. But you know, they say things happen for a reason. So maybe, so maybe yeah. this is just fate. Yeah, I mean, I guess Donny Octave would agree with you. 
Oh, God. Now Joey Strawn has a chance to main event with Max Harleton, and oh my God, don't even get me started on what we just witnessed moments ago. We, we saw the death of a wrestler. That's what we just saw. Yeah. Tonight we have seen two deaths. Vincent James and Havoc. This, that man, Hunter Woods, I am terrified. But ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the most impressive rising stars I have ever witnessed. The man known as the party starter, Chaz Storm. This is a man who, quite frankly, I mean, he defeat like, when we were talking about Donny Ante moments ago, this is the man who beat Donny Ante in round one. Yeah. Definitively, too. That with that super kick that he's so well known for. Yeah, that's, yeah, that storm warning super kick. He is so known for that. Known for knocking people out with that. I think, again, Havoc may be the only person to have kicked out of that. And I know, honestly, a lot of people were probably hoping we would see Chaz and Havoc go to the finals. But Max Harleton pulled out the upset. Yes. And now Chaz Storm, he still looks to cement his place and become a world champion. Become a champion. This man has never held gold. But he has a challenge in the Canadian Crusader. A man who, like I said, despite the shady victory on episode one, he is a man with a very historic background. I mean, Joey Saran is a man who, quite frankly, at one point, took one of the most dominating men in this business, Blake Harnage, to his limit. That is impressive in of itself. And now, here we go. These two getting fired up. The crowd just absolutely loving Chaz Storm. And Joey Saran very much a loose cannon. But the but the Chicago crowd doesn't really seem to be into him tonight. And these two are just gonna share strikes in the opening moments of this match. Strong with the European uppercut and Chaz with the forearm. Oh. Chaz oh. And these two just striking. No lockups. Oh. Now from what I remember. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my. Back and forth. Now, from what I remember in my notes, I believe Joey Sron also had a hand in helping train this man, Chaz Storm. Oh, wouldn't. So this is very much a case of teacher versus wouldn't student. Wouldn't be something to see here that the student out surpasses the master. Oh, man. Imagine that. So, I mean, Joey Saran taught Chaz Storm everything Chaz knows, but, he, but I don't think he taught him everything that Saran knows. Now going into a pin off that chop. Not even a one count, though. And, oh, here's that neck snap. And now going right back up to the second rope. Calling for Saran to get up. And what are we going to see here? Oh. oh, missing the double axe handle. And, oh, big uppercut. Now into a pin of his own. One. Only a, a, only a one. Oh, oh God. God. Kicking him right in the top of the head. Now whipping Storm off the ropes. Duck under Leapfrog. And, oh, Storm with the DDT dropping him right on his head. And now going to take Saran off the ropes on, on his own. Duck down. Duck under of his own. Another. And oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. And Saran taking that and then just. Oh man. Uh, he's leveling in the elbow. This is going to be a. F Bill, this is going to be a very fun match. Storm rolling out to protect himself. And now. These two are going to fight on the outside. And the crowd getting what they paid for tonight. Look, look at these two slugging it out right now. Yeah. Got to talk to the apron there, but 
Oh, wait, man. Duck that. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, into the barricade. And again. Taking him one more time. Jeez. Relentless action here. Relentless. And now taking this back inside. Now going off the ropes. Oh, oh my God. another big boot right to the head. And under the pin. Two. No. Chad Storm kicking out at two. Kicking him right back down. Oh! Big double stomp now off the ropes. Oh! Double axe handle there. How's that? And now rubbing his face in the mat. And dropping the elbow. And oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, look at that core strength. Deadlifting him up for the gut wrench. Oh my god. And now, oh man. Oh, look at this rolling neck snap. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh, Storm pushing Joey off. And now, Chaz Storm going to look to get a... Oh, wait a minute. Signature clothesline from Chaz Storm. We have seen that from him so many different times. Oh, Saran got the inside foot underneath the bottom rope. And now these forearms... Oh, wait a minute. Clothesline to the outside. Wait a minute, Chaz bouncing off and flies with a diving Huge cross dive body. there by Chaz Storm. And the crowd is fired up. Feeding off the energy <clears throat> of this crowd. They love him. They love this guy. I can't really name too many people who don't like Chaz Storm. Uh, Joy Saran at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Oh, wait. Missed that oh, drop kick geez. there. Drop kick of his own. Show him <laughs> how it's done. Yeah. A master showing the student how to do it. Now taking him to the center. Going to stomp the Ooh. arm. And this Joey Saran. Oh, wait a minute. On that same arm, hammer locks it in. Puts in a cross face. Oh, my God. That is a deadly looking submission move right there. Chaz Storm might have to tap. Oh, wait a minute. No, getting out of it. Taking him over. No, oh, Chaz taking a minute. Saran looks at him like, what in the oh hell are you God. doing? Oh, it's an uppercut. And oh, now Chaz firing up. Another half Nelson Bulldog. I think Saran's head might have smashed that bottom turnbuckle. Hey, well. I may be wrong, though. Hard to see from here. Now, forearm. Yeah. And now. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, he's, he's cut. cut. He is cut deep. That is a very deep cut right there. And now we've seen this before. Side effect. And now into the pin. One, two. One, two. And no. Joey Saran kicking out of the side effect. Jazz Storm is beside himself. Saran rolling out now. Probably to collect himself after getting cut. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. This match has so much intensity built up here. Oh, wait a minute. Referee stopping Chaz from going outside. Wait a minute. There's Saran with a the drop kick. by the referee. He took the eye off the ball. And now he's about to pay for it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh Roaring my God. Up and now Saran firing up in his own. Look at this. Oh, that big back suplex side slam we've seen from him before. One two no Chaz Storm getting out of that again that 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 cut on the top of Saran's forehead is very deep <laughs> and Saran arguing with the referee over the count oh my god Saran is not letting this he one go he was three he was one of three oh, oh wait a minute wait roll from Chaz. 
One, two. Oh my God! What? Joey Saran took his eye off the ball for too long and chanced him with a roll up. Just like that. Wow. That was a very interesting main event. A very good main event. Definitely. Those two were damn near matched. But at the end... There's that big clothesline again. <laughs> and then this right here. This is this is where it all went down. Joey Strom was intent on arguing with the referee over that count. Took took one second too long. And cost him everything. And Chaz Storm going to the finals of Act On Instinct. To face Max Harlton for the title. Oh man, what a match that's uh, exactly. going to be. Exactly, it's going to be one hell of a match up there. Two guys have been working hard to get where they're at, and they're going to be slugging it out for the title. And Chaz Storm taking another little second to get the crowd, and wait a minute. Oh. There's the opponent. Like this. These two coming eye to eye. Oh, man. What a main event that will be. They're, they're, they're saying something back and forth, but I can't even make out what they're saying. Oh my god, this... I, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for that main event. Oh boy. Oh, Max looking to be leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to speak more on this, but we're running out of time. On behalf of Bill Baker here, I am Braylon Summers, and we will see you all on Episode 3. Good night.